Hey guys, it's Tipsy Shaker. Uh, happy Friday, which means happy hour. And I'm going to show you just how to make a really basic, basic, basic margarita because you need a margarita in these times of quarantine. Um, and then we're going to have some fun with just bartending basics, things you need to know. And what you can do with the crap you have lying around right now if you can't get to a liquor store. Which right now they're still open, at least where I am, so here's hoping they are where you are. Uh, if not, we're going to get real creative with, you know, let's not go so far as mouthwash, but let's get creative with what you have that's actually drinkable. So, in any case, margarita. Uh, I always do a margarita on Fridays, and I love them. And... We have like really basic stuff right now. So I'm just pulling from what we had in our little booze area. Uh, start with a lime. If you don't have fresh lime and you have one of those squeezies in your fridge, it's lime juice, it's fine. Um, and we got oranges too because they actually are necessary for just about every drink you'll ever make. I just love orange flavor. And I like it better actually with tequila than lime because I'm a bad person. <laughs> so here's orange and lime. You're going to cut them. Important bartender tip. See how you cut them in half like that? The center. Don't ever cut towards your hand, blah, blah, blah. I know. But you cut a little uh, slice in the middle. Actually, I do that down. Uh, but you're basically going to cut right there so that it sits pretty on the glass. You just leave a little like, little ridge. It's kind of a cool tip. Um, and cut your limes up and your orange. So I'm just cutting some orange to squeeze. So I'm gonna do a half, but I'm gonna squeeze it into my margarita because I like the flavor. So, I have cute little dorky glasses I'm going to use for margaritas. And <laughs> this is a decanter for wine. You can <laughs> you can grab a vase around your house because we wanted to have like a cool little carafe of margaritas. And we don't have a carafe and nobody has carafes. So just, you know, use what you find around your house. Fill it with ice. Pour your stuff. Shake. That's a margarita. Um, I got Mr. T's, which is my favorite mixers. There's Finest Call, which I used to use at my bar. Excellent. Just get a margarita mix. If you only have sweet and sour, you'll want to get triple sec and tequila, and you mix those. So what you're going to start with, and I don't pour this on ice. I put the ice in the glass, not in the, the thing that you're mixing it in. I'm going to start with tequila. You got your decanter. You figure three counts per shot. So one, two, three is a shot. You're going to drink, I, I don't know how much this holds, but you're going to drink, let's say, three margaritas out of this. So we'll go, I can do math, nine, nine count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a nine bartender count. It looks like I'm an alcoholic. I'm not. You'll want probably more than that. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of brandy. Brandy makes margaritas tasty. I'm doing a splash. Splash. I like it. And then you just fill with your mix. It should smell like a bad night in college. Mm. Take your orange. Cut your orange up because it's too big for the top of the thing. All right. I'm just going to squeeze it into the top because Orange juice makes things taste better, especially tequila. 
It's going to squeeze. It's going to be messy. You're going to be gross. That's why you always have a bar rag next to you. Always. Always. Okay, squeeze. This is just half an orange. Makes it nice and sweet, if you like sweet. And I do. Okay. We're going to cap it. We're going to shake it. Because frothy margaritas are the best margaritas. If you have a blender and you want to just throw this over a few cubes of ice, it makes it really nice and frothy, not frozen. It's just perfect. So I actually recommend that. I just didn't think of it beforehand. So you get the crap version of a margarita. This is a good workout too if you're like not getting outside, not exercising much. Shake some drinks. Okay. Important thing to remember. Salt your glass before you put the ice in it. So I'm going to use, use a lime on the edge to put the salt on because it sticks better um, than water. I have actual margarita salt because I'm a dork, but if you don't, regular table salt is fine. Crunch it in there. Salt. I'm going to do two. You can rim it with orange too. Really tastes better. Some people do salt and sugar with orange. I recommend. Ice. So in these difficult times, we have an ice maker. If you don't have an ice maker and you want to make like fun drinks every day because you're bored, um, just start loading your ice cube trays all the time and pour them into bowls and then you'll have ice readily available. It's like you're the ice maker. Be the ice maker or something. So I'm going to fill dropped an ice cube. Um, these look good. I'm going to squeeze a little bit more orange into the top. You don't have to put brandy in the mix. You could actually do a floater. If you have amaretto sitting around, amaretto floated on top of a margarita is excellent. You can try whatever weird booze you want to do. It's kind of fun. But amaretto works really well with margaritas. Um, the person I live with can't drink amaretto. I think it'll kill him. So we won't do that. So we fill the glass with a pretty little guy and then see that little cut see it it talks to you it's like hello that is how you put it on your glass to where it stays um two margaritas i didn't do something really important which is taste test this before i poured taste test it before you pour because then you can add more stuff and mix it before it's gritty um, but I trust myself so uh, and I need a straw I'll be right back hi straw so I'll tell you how it tastes Yeah, that'll do the trick. So make yourself a margarita. It's sunshine in a glass, and I recommend sunshine right now. So one thing I'm going to do is show you this. I don't know if you can see Oop. all those bottles. So a bunch of my friends sent me random crap they have in their pantries, booze areas, bars, fridges, and wherever they hide stuff. This is from my friend Lisa uh, and Alex. They have Tito's Vodka, Absolute Vodka. They've got two different kinds of whiskeys, Captain Morgan, a giant like Costco vodka. Good job. 
and a giant Irish country cream. Um, if you can get to the store, <laughs> get some Kahlua, because what you actually could make is a fantastic Colorado Bulldog, which I love. It's a milkshake. It really is. Uh, and you would just do your glass ice, vodka, a shot. Um, you could do Kahlua, a shot. You can add the Bailey's-ish stuff, the, the Irish cream, as another shot. And then top it with milk and a dash of Coke, Coca-Cola, and, uh, and shake it. Okay, since you probably don't have a shaker. If you have a shaker, good. Shake it. If you don't, you can use your cup and just dump it into another cup, dump it back into your cup. It works really good. It mixes it perfectly. And that's a Colorado Bulldog, which you could make. You could also do... The whiskey and the cream don't work together. Actually, that's bourbon. You have bourbon. Never mix bourbon with Irish cream. Um, you have Captain Morgan. I love Captain and Diet Dr. Pepper. That's my favorite. That's my go-to. That's what I order. Uh, vodka is classic. Vodka you mix with anything. If you have juice, sodas, an orange and you want to squeeze it and make a screwdriver, hmm. um, grapefruit juice, you can have a salty dog, which is vodka, grapefruit juice, and then you rim the top with salt. That is an old classic that I haven't had in a while. Uh, what else can you do with vodka? If you have vermouth, which you don't, I'll show you how to make a martini probably tomorrow, if you don't know. Um, and then Irish cream, on the rocks is always good. I actually like to sip it. Bourbon, on the rocks, sip it. Some people like it neat, not me. Um, and then I think you have whiskey in the back. High West, I'm assuming that's whiskey. Hmm. Yeah, so I think that's about what you can do with your, your stash. You have, I think, a pickle vodka you showed me later, which I personally think you should do a Bloody Mary with, but I'm not sure what your other ingredients are, so we'll talk about that later. I'll grab the, I'll go through the pictures, like, each, I'll make a drink, and then I'll go through your pictures that you send of your pantries, and we'll, we'll do like a chopped for booze, chopped booze, or something. So, anyway, I'm gonna drink because it's Friday, happy hour. We can't go out. We don't want to go out. We want to self-quarantine and isolate and social distance, but we can social media and we can social cheers. Cheers. You guys enjoy. Relax. It's going to be over. Nothing lasts forever. Love ya.